All right, so I made good progress on my experimental branch for the Spectre desktop last night. So I'm working on bringing USB wallets into the system through the HWI library. So I'm going to add my new USB wallet. I'm going to say connect. And I want to do my keep key. So now it's looking for the wallet. Nothing's plugged in yet. So I'm gonna go plug in my keep key. There we go. And then once it sees it, scanning, scanning, scanning. There we go. So now it found it. So now the keep key brings up its randomized uh, pin entry, which is gonna correspond with these blank boxes. So I'm just gonna click the blank boxes that match up with my pin. So I'm gonna do that uh, off camera here. So let's see, bop, 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 bop. Okay, and then once I submit, oh, I need a hand. So I'm gonna go submit. And now it's unlocked the keep key. It sent the pin into it. And we know that we are now unlocked. So we continue. Uh, we're gonna name our new device. Keep key is fine. Submit. So now it's gonna take a bit. It's a little slow, uh, but it's pulling XPubs off of the keep key now. All right, here we go. So now we've got testnet and mainnet. We got uh, SegWit, nested SegWit, we got multi-sig for SegWit and nested SegWit uh, for both testnet and mainnet. And uh, based on these, uh, the varying uh, derivation paths, which I think I understand now. Um, and yeah, so now that we've got our XPubs imported, uh, we can go and create uh, new wallets for them based on them, either basic single key wallets or make the keep key part of a multi-sig uh, wallet. Um, I've also got ledger support working. It's a simpler flow because uh, the pin entry just happens on the device. Um, yeah, so coming up, I still have to uh, sign transactions on a USB wallet and test to make sure that the, uh, the multi-sig is working, but uh, so far so good. It's looking pretty cool.